Whoa. We have to evaluate the following integral. And this integral is almost as long as this screen. We have integral from e to infinity and I'm not sure if I can say all of this stuff without making any mistakes. e to the negative x squared, natural log of x squared, and we are raising x to the power of uh, this craziness, natural log of x to the negative x squared plus 2x squared dx. Well, I feel like trying to anti-differentiate this is not going to work out anytime soon. So how do we go about this? Well, they gave us some information given that integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative x squared dx is square root of pi over 2, we have to evaluate this. So maybe we should try to convert. We should try to convert this integral in the form integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative u squared du making some substitution. I'm not sure what the substitution is going to be, but we are going to attempt to find out. And then we should know our answer. But who knows, it may not be square root of pi over 2. Maybe there is more tricks that we have to do with it. But this is something to shoot for. We can try to somehow combine the terms together in this integral such that we have something e to the negative u squared du or something similar to it and then we can try where to go from there because obviously we have to use this information somehow. Before I go on, I want to recognize Tisha MOO2 molybdenum dioxide possibly for being the very first person to correctly answer this question with the answer square root of pi. Huge, huge congratulations. So having stated that, let's try to put this thing in the form, in the form e to the negative something. And who knows, maybe this thing is going to turn out to be something squared. And maybe we can let this something be our u and try to make our u substitution. So maybe that's a plan. So let's try to combine everything together. So we have e to the we obviously have e to the negative x squared lying right here. I'm not sure how to change natural log of x squared because if you want to write that in exponential form, you have to write it as e to the natural log of natural log of x squared. And I don't see an easy way of simplifying natural log of natural log of x squared or how it's going to fit in with other things that we have. But who knows, that may be helpful. So let's Maybe I'll just write this down. We may need it, we may not, but it's always good to have something in mind. Okay, but for this one, it looks promising because we have x in the base and x in the exponent. And because we have natural log, it seems like converting the base to e is going to be much easier to do. And maybe it's going to make some simplifications as well. Before I begin, let's write this in the form. Let me just bring this negative x squared out front. So we have x to the negative x squared natural log of x plus 2x squared. I'm just bringing this negative x squared out front. And we want to write this in the form e to the power of something. An easy way of writing it is using e to the natural log of this entire quantity. So we can write it as e to the natural log of x to the negative x squared natural log of x plus 2x squared. And of course, we have natural log of x squared, which we may change as well if we see the need to, dx. And how am I getting this? Well, e and natural log cancel out in a sense because they are inverse. So writing this thing and this thing are the same thing because e and natural log are going to cancel out anyway. But we want to write everything with the base of e so we can discover possible u substitution. So that's why we are converting everything to base e. And let's continue. Let's see if anything simplifies. So let's go here. We have integral from e to infinity and we have e to the negative x squared. And for this, you see that this entire thing is the exponent so we can bring that out as coefficient of natural log of x. So let's do so. Bring this entire thing out plus 2x squared. Let's not forget to 2. And we're multiplying this by natural log of x. And of course, we have natural log of x squared dx. Let's continue on. So combining everything, we have e to the negative x squared 
and we have negative x squared natural log of x times natural log of x distributing. So negative x squared natural log of x squared and multiplying these out gets us plus 2x squared natural log of x and we have natural log of x squared dx. And it seems like we may be able to factor this because it looks like the classic, it looks like the classic expansion, something similar to a minus b squared, which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And it looks similar to that. We have x squared, natural log of x squared. We even have two times multiple of things. And we have another x squared. So it looks like we may be able to factor it. But let's clean it up before we try to do so. So let me write it like this. Integral from e to infinity of e to the negative, negative, and we have x squared natural log of x squared, and we have minus 2 x squared natural log of x, and we have plus x squared. I'm just factoring negative out from all of these. Natural log of x squared dx. And we see that it is indeed in the form a squared minus b squared. Our value of a is x times natural log of x and our value of b is x. Because we have a squared, x squared natural log of x squared minus 2 times ab. 2 times ab, x squared times natural log of x plus b squared plus x squared. So we have it precisely in the form that we want. So we can make this in the form e to the negative x times natural log of x minus x squared natural log of x squared dx. And it seems like our u substitution to make, our u substitution to make, remember, we want this in the form e to the negative u squared is u is equal to u is equal to x times natural log of x minus x. But of course, as any good calculus student knows, we have to have derivative of u, we have to have du outside, and it seems like this natural log of x is going to help out. Because what do you get when you differentiate this? When you differentiate x times natural log of x by product rule, we get natural log of x plus x times 1 over x. And differentiating minus x, we get negative 1. And we see that this thing is plus 1, so these are going to cancel out. So we, du is going to be natural log of x dx, which we have. And of course, we can bring this 2 out front. So let's bring this 2 out front. And we have 2 times integral of e to the negative u squared du, which is natural log of x dx. So it seems like we are very close. We have to make sure we have the bounds of 0 and infinity. So let's check that very quickly. So when x is, when x is e, u is going to be e times natural log of e minus e. Natural log of e is 1, so we have e minus e or 0. So when x is e, we know u is 0. How about when x is infinity? Well, u can be written as x times natural log of x minus 1, factoring x out. So as x gets very large, this thing is going to approach infinity and this factor, natural log of x minus 1, is going to approach infinity as well. And infinity times infinity, of course, is approaching infinity. So we have everything we need. We have 2 times the integral given to us, and the integral given to us was square root of pi over 2. Our final answer is 2 times square root of pi over 2, or simply square root of pi. So let's go back. So this integral evaluates to square root of pi.